the Amazon rainforest, one of the richest locations in terms of biodiversity on the earth, and every day more of it is lost. Ever since I was five years old, I've wanted to help save the Amazon rainforest. The fact I grew up in the small town of Mancelona in northwestern lower Michigan, with the Amazon thousands of miles away, never seemed to deter me. From my jungle-themed bedroom, to all the books and videos about wildlife, to my small army of toy animals, everything I did back then revolved around saving the wild in one way or another. Even my favorite video game, Wild Animal Jumpstart, was animal-centric. Although I did attempt to write Congress once back then to try and get them to help save the Amazon rainforest, I believe inspiring my parents to donate to the conservation groups, such as the World Wildlife Fund, probably had a bigger impact. I didn't give up though, and in the third grade my cousins and I started a lemonade stand at our grandparents' house in East Jordan to save the wild. We made about $12. I donated the money to adopt a three-toed sloth through World Wide Wildlife Fund in an effort to help save the Amazon rainforest. It wasn't a lot of money, but every bit counts. My love for the Amazon rainforest didn't stop in childhood. In eighth grade, I did a PowerPoint for a class about the Amazon rainforest deforestation and all the negative impacts this would have. Quando io era em decimo primero ano de escola, eu comencei a aprender português em Duolingo. I also started taking the film and new media class at the TBA ISC Career Tech Center in Traverse City, where I learned how to make movies. My time at the Career Tech Center inspired me to pursue a career in documentary filmmaking to create movies to help educate the people and save the Amazon. This past year, I've had the opportunity to travel to Brazil with Northwestern Michigan College. I can easily say this experience was the best thing I've ever done in my life. Not only did I get to experience and learn firsthand about one of my favorite cultures, but I also learned about the Brazilian environmental movement and the current struggles it's facing. This helped me to write an essay for a scholarship contest about what I learned in Brazil about their environmental movement, add in interviews with some of the people I met down there, and explain how President Bolsonaro's new policies could be disastrous not only for Brazil, but the whole world. I was even able to practice my Portuguese and made a short video about the trip. The only thing that would have made it perfect was if I was able to visit the Amazon. But this year, I may have the opportunity to make my dream come true. My college is offering a study abroad trip to the Amazon rainforest. Going on this trip would help me to see firsthand the problems facing the rainforest and what possible solutions might be available. I'd also be able to meet others like me who want to make a difference. But time is running out. Just this year, devastating fires raged through the jungle. Watching the destruction on TV was a living nightmare. How much more could the forest handle? Given the opportunity to study abroad in the Amazon, I will do my best to make a documentary to show the world the importance of the rainforest before it's too late.